about to edge this beast. Yeah, they're the five centimetre scan pills that are stitched right. together. Yeah. And she's off. Uh, so, quick 3.01 to get the circle centre. Very easy to use, isn't it? Oh, yeah. yeah right. Oh, that's, that is so sweet. So, 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 <laughs> there it comes, yeah. That. Oh, wow. With a nice little preview of where you're up to. Right. So that'll be its full five centimetre jump over off the stages. And the next row, so it does each little area, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. We've got uh, Aerotech controllers as well where you can link them up and do an infant field view so the stages move with the, the guys right. still. Yeah, it's just building it up slowly in each area. Right, there it goes a little bit. So I'll take about three and a half minutes at the five lengths. Definitely a couple of hundred metres. This is silicon weight processing. And yeah. You're sort of ablating the surface to give you the pattern that you, um, that you may need. Um, but we've got a glass processing, ceramic processing, metals, um, polymers. Cut out folders, some of them are pretty good, oh, yeah, some of them are pretty bad. Yeah. Right. So. so, down to the micron level, sort of the 10 micron to 50 yes. micron, sort of our resolution. That's on the thicker end of what we cut, but yeah, you can puncture a few mils of glass and polymers and silicone. Silicone, yeah. Um, sapphire substrates there. as well, so we're going to pop some up on the uh, area. The process correct. sapphire, and there's a few things in the microscope. Okay. So this is just a little bit of a <coughs> fire drilling for microfluidics. So it's pretty much fire support as I think instead of oh. uh, sorry, hang on. Yeah. Oh there we are. Oh yeah, that is little pillar structures to they are. create some shearing for some polymers. Your eye space is a bit different than mine. Oh, yeah, of course. But it's okay. Yeah, I can see. Right. So we got a few little projects there. Um, that was just for a, a Sydney project. Yeah. Um, stainless steel is a bit harder to machine. You yeah. get a lot of dross, and all of the oxides are a bit harder to clean off, but we found a nice way to do it. So that comes up pretty well. We're almost yeah, finished yeah. here. Oh yeah, almost uh, done its, its job. Um, so yeah, this is this is the sort of commercial side where yep. uh, a lot of industry and um, research institutions come to us and say we've got a particular problem. We want to know if you can cut, mark, machine this material, and yeah. we have to find what wavelength is suitable, what focusing regime is suitable, what parameters are suitable. Um, we have a lot of repeat customers that come back and say you guys are achieving the resolutions and the quality that we can't get and we haven't seen anywhere else. Um, <coughs> no, that's nice. And just hopefully you know, we should buy it as well. And then when this is done, we can go next door and look at the actual the other capabilities that we have with our ultra fast systems. Well they're nice, yeah. My mind's sort of going at yeah, <laughs> the moment, yeah, yeah, of course. With all other th yeah, possibilities. I think uh, it's done. done, yeah. I mean, I'm still looking at laser reflectors for tagging asteroids. Yeah, yeah, no, understood. <laughs> uh, and, uh, oh, right. The fast yeah. processing with the delay speeds, you know, not quite up to scratch, you still get a lot of fine detail in it. Crazy. Yes.
so. Wow. Yeah. 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 Yeah, you get it. I know. I can see it. I can't see it. Don't yeah. worry. Yeah, it is there. Uh, yeah. I'll grab that one if you want. Sorry? You can have that one if you want. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Something take away. If you can keep it together, it's a bit like glass, so you just got to be a bit careful. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah right. Probably well, between a hard case book, it's probably the best. Well, there's the best thing. These things are best viewed with a single light source, not a uh, yeah, exactly, red light yeah. source. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So, I do not. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's all I, I, I can see it clearly. So we're going to have a little bit of ripple. Oh, yeah, I can see, you can see that. the colour in that one? So, yeah, 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 yeah. So it took a little while to get that right. It ha helped that it was uh, polarised in the right brush stroke as well for the, right. the steel. But How big are those ripples? In terms of height. So this machine is where the uh, Olympic torch yeah, boreholes were made. This is where all the Olympic torch boreholes were made on this machine. Now, 2000. Our made. Yeah, 2000 and 2004. And yeah, four as well. Well, the Greeks yeah. won't yeah, they won't let anyone know. <laughs> 20,000 holes punched for the torches. Yeah, to keep the flame just the right height and the right burn rate. Exactly. Um, Excellent.